talking about our home Talking about me and you Things will do us at our home Talking about our home Not talking about a one night stand I want to be your man I said oh, 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 oh. From the people who bring talking you Charleston Home and Design Magazine The Charleston Home and Design Show The Custom Home and Remodel Show and Charleston's online home show, NewHomeCharleston.com. This is Talking About a Home. Talking About a Home is a home show on the radio, featuring interviews with local experts, home tips, trends, and ideas you need to know to make your home better. I'm Michael Blaze with Five Star Real Estate, and this is Talking About a Home. Good afternoon. I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and I want to thank you for listening to Talking About a Home, a home show on the radio. In addition to our radio show, Talking About a Home, we also publish Charleston Home and Design Magazine, winner of the American Society of Interior Designers Excellence in Design Media Award, and also winner of the American Institute of Architects Charleston Chapters Honor Award for Journalism. You may also be familiar with the three custom home shows we organize, the Charleston Home and Design Show, which is coming up uh, two weekends from now, January 24th through the 26th at the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium. Also, uh, Charleston's only open-air home show, uh, which takes place every April at Family Circle Stadium on Daniel Island. And the Custom Home and Remodel Show and Hurricane Expo, which takes place every August. Well, today we've got a, a great show lined up for you. Uh, today's radio show is coming to you from Melser Tile, and we're very proud to have Melser Tile on board as one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show, and we'll be talking to uh, Melser Tile's Jay Rotten. Also, uh, Trey Strock with Strock Design and Remodel, Fred Stone with Elegant Hardwood Floors, Anita King with uh, an, uh, the, uh, an architect and owner of Inc. Architecture, and also Alan Wheeler with Coastal Design Builders. Well, as I mentioned, uh, the Charleston Home and Design Show is taking place uh, two weekends from now, January 24th through the 26th. And um, one of the things that, um, that really sets the Charleston Home and Design Show, all of our home shows, in fact, apart from us uh, from the other home shows that uh, that uh, take place in the Charleston area is the fact that we always have a lot of of special events and giveaways and, and so forth and uh, this year is no different um, this year uh, we've we've got the white room challenge going on we we're going to be offering free design consultations by um, offered by ASID Interior Designers. We'll be giving away eight different $2,000 prize packages for, for the home. And uh, we also have a, uh, a silent auction with home-related items, and there's always some great buys that you can get there. But uh, I wanted to mention a couple of things. First of all, um, the free design consultations. Um, we have uh, partnered with the ASID Carolinas chapter, and that is the American Society of Interior Designers um, Carolina chapter. And these are uh, professional interior designers who will be volunteering their time um, on Friday, January 24th, Saturday, January 25th, and Sunday, January 26th. And uh, this is about the 12th year that we've, we've been doing this with... Uh, with ASID and um, these interior designers are here to uh, to to volunteer their time and and talk with you about any kind of design dilemma that you might have and um, all you need to do if you would like a free consultation is give us a, a call to reserve your time slot at uh, at the Charleston Home and Design Magazine offices at uh, 843 Five seven seven seventy six fifty two. That's eight four three five seven 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 six five two. And uh, the design consultations take place on Friday, January twenty fourth, from one to four p.m. Saturday from eleven to five, and Sunday from noon till three. And these are 
20 to 30 minute design consultations and um, interior designers if you've if you've never worked with an interior designer they they typically charge an hourly rate and uh, they won't be charging you anything um, and uh, everybody has has uh, uh, some sort of a, a challenge at home or or n uh, an area where you might need some help and um, and this is your chance to sit down with a professional interior designer and uh, and pick their brain and and get their advice uh, at at no charge to you and we suggest you bring house plans or um, room dimensions whatever room that you're looking at um, maybe fabric swatches uh, samples of flooring or countertops or cabinetry um, maybe some paint uh, paint colors uh, that you're considering uh, any photos of the room or furniture furniture you already have and even some magazine photos or, or of uh, rooms or styles that you like. But uh, you can reserve a, um, a free 20 to 30 minute design consultation by calling 843-577-7652. That's 843-577-7652. Have a great weekend. I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine and I wanna thank you for listening to Talking About a Home, a home show on the radio. Today's radio show is coming to you from Melser Tile, located at 4965 Dorchester Road in North Charleston. And we're very proud to have Mel Melser Tile as one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show coming up January 24th through the 26th at the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium. And now we're talking with Jay Rotten with Melser Tile. How are you doing, Jay? Doing great, Tim. Welcome. Oh, thanks. First of all, thanks, uh, Jay, for uh, hosting today's radio show here at Melser Tile and also uh, for being a sponsor of the Charleston Home and Design Show. Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for, for coming over here today. We always enjoyed being a part of the home show. You bet. And we are in, in the Melser Tile uh, very, very spacious uh, showroom. And uh, how many years has Melser Tile been been in business? Uh, in business, uh, forty five years. Okay, forty five years, and uh, and uh, uh, Melser Tile used to be down the street, uh, down down Dorchester Road, and and you've been in your your current location at forty nine sixty five Dorchester Road. How many years? Uh, this is uh, this is fourteenth, our fourteenth year. At Fourteen this building, years. So. Wow. Well, kind of paint a picture for our listeners of of what. Uh, what they'll see, um, what they'll experience when they when they visit the Melser Tile showroom. Okay, um, what we try to do is we we try to show folks, um, you know, some of the possibilities possibilities out there with tile or natural stone. Um, it's really difficult to see like we used to do in the old days off of one board or one piece. So what we've tried to do is put a lot of vignettes together, and it's a constantly changing and evolving thing for us. But where you can see what an actual installation will look like. All of our floors in here obviously are done uh, with different tiles so that we can walk you through that and, and uh, hopefully create a realistic expectation for you. Gotcha. Yeah, and, and that is so important for, for homeowners to, to be able to see how the, how the tile looks because people are very visual. It, it is a challenge just to look at a, um, you know, a, a, a two by three board or, or whatever the dimensions are and and try to to envision what that's going to look like in a big expanse of bathroom or kitchen that's right i mean uh, the manufacturing processes have, have really come a long way you know it used to be you'd get white or gray or whatever and it was all pretty much a solid color um, but now with these advances in manufacturing you can make you can get a man-made product that looks a lot closer to a natural stone uh, but they are every piece isn't the same and of course that's the beauty of the product but we need to be able to show you that so again we are creating that realistic expectation right and i'm i'm counting one two three four five six seven eight nine and eleven eleven twelve at least 12 and it looks like oh and then we've got 16 so yeah. there's 16 different vignettes here um with uh and um these are more of your more popular um, styles of, of tile you have in these vignettes? They are. And, and like I said before, it's constantly evolving. We just did about, uh, we just redid about eight of them. We've got a few more to go. So, but yeah, we, we try to uh, keep up on, on market trends here as, as well as any new products that we think might take off. And tile's not an easy thing a lot of, to remove. Homeowners kind of view it as a permanent uh, installation in their house. And 
And so, Melser Tile, you folks are are really continually on a continual basis um, tearing up different displays and putting putting. Down. How do you, how do you manage that? Um, well, it's it, it's not easy. It's it's necessary though, and and uh, that's one of the services that we try to offer is to, you know, we like to say we shop the world to show you the best in in tile and natural stone. So we, it's constantly evolving, and it's just part of what we do. Um, having this big a showroom here at Melser Tile, and I believe Melser Tile, you folks uh, um, are are proud to say that you're the largest uh, tile showroom in South Carolina, right? That's correct. And uh, that's you know that's wonderful that you you've got such a big showroom and so many different um, um, types of tile to see. Um, but that can also be a challenge for a homeowner. How do how do your people uh, here at Melser Tile handle that kind of thing when a homeowner comes in and they know they need tile for the bathroom or the kitchen or um, other spots in the house? But you know, to to narrow it all down, how how does that take place? Right, and that's where our staff comes in. And we we have a wonderful staff. We have um, um, five designers, four full time designers, and one part time designer. And we, we offer a free consultation. The first thing we're going to try to find out is exactly what your goals are. Um, you know, do you want to really make a splash with the tile in your home or are you just in to select tile because your builder told you you needed to? Um, so we, we like to try to listen a lot more than we talk and figure out what direction you're trying to go. Um, the showroom can be really big and overwhelming, but what we try to do is listen enough where we can eliminate certain parts of it and narrow it down to you know, just several choices. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And, um, uh, and sometimes, um, you know, when you said make a splash, you're, you're talking about people who might want to splurge on maybe a more expensive tile, like a glass tile or something like that in certain areas, but not everywhere because it could really get out of hand. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, something like a, a, a feature wall, maybe say around a, a fireplace or in a master bathroom or something like that. Um, our designers here can, can show you how to use a relatively inexpensive tile or stone product and then accent it with glass or um, you know some kind of a stone mosaic and and uh, you know you're sort of getting the best of both worlds mm -hmm. the, the budget along with the bang and um, I can I can talk on a personal basis uh, when we were building our house uh, we worked with uh, one of your designers Phyllis who is very well known mm -hmm. in, in the, the design community and um, if there's one thing we discovered, it was there's there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. Like if we wanted uh, glass subway tile in the, for a backsplash in the kitchen, um, but certain types of glass subway tile were too expensive, and so it was just it was it was going back to the drawing board a few times. But there was so many different options that we were able to find what we were looking for in the price point that we were looking for. So there's, there's definitely different ways to, to stretch the dollar for tile. Right. Right. And, and that's all what I was, you know, mentioning before about finding out what your goal is. If your goal is a certain look and a certain budget, most of the time we can, we can help you with that. Um, you know, what about, um, it, it tile has 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 uh, has grown beyond just being a backsplash in the kitchen uh, and maybe on the floor and then in the bathroom. Tile has really expanded through to many many other places in the in the home. Can you talk about that a little bit? Where you've seen some of your customers uh, place tile inside and outside their home? Yeah, I, I mean it's bec becoming unlimited. You know, back when I first started in this business, we were lucky to get the bathrooms, and now. You know, we've moved into kitchen floors and sunrooms and exterior applications. Um, and, I, and I think it's all, you know, for several reasons, the, the ease of maintenance, um, the permanence of it, if it's installed. It, we like to say that a properly installed, um, a properly chosen and installed tile product will last the lifetime of your home or business. Um, so, uh, and, and again, that's our job when you come in is to, uh, to, to listen to you enough and to help you find a product that will last for the lifetime of your home or business. Mm -hmm. Where, um, like, uh, for instance, outdoors, tile is becoming very popular outside of the house. Where have you seen, um, can you give some examples? Yeah, uh, certainly stone pavers around around pools and, and pool copings, the stone pool copings have become very popular. Um, also, a lot of people are doing outdoor kitchens, so we have a lot of, um, you know, both natural stone products as well as 
man-made porcelain tiles that are great for floor applications, um, some, some uh, stone countertop installations and backsplashes. So, you know, sunrooms, screen porches, I mean, anywhere you can think of to put it, we can find you a product that would do well in that application. I've seen people put tile on, on their, you mentioned screen porches, on, on just their regular porches also. Mm-hmm. And, uh, um, and, and I guess the, there's very little maintenance compared to, like, wood flooring. But. Absolutely. I mean, it, you know, if you, again, we say a, a, a properly chosen product, so... Um, you know, like a, a man-made porcelain tile that's a through-bodied product. Um, what does that mean, a through-body? A through-bodied product is unlike the old glazed ceramic tiles where it had, like, say, a red or a white body and then a glaze that was sprayed over it. Through-body means that if something were to chip down into it, it's, the tile is the same all the way throughout. Mm. Sort of like a natural stone, except it's a lot more dense. So if we get you the right product for a porch or any outdoor application – you know, it's very easy to maintain. You never have to seal it or anything like that. You just, you know, can scrub it and rinse it off with the hose and you're ready to go. Mm-hmm. And just over um, to, to my right, I'm looking at a lot of um, uh, th- these are long vertical pieces of tile that resemble uh, wood flooring. That's becoming very popular. I've seen people put those on, on their decks as well. That's right. We're, we're selling a lot of that, um, both interior and exterior applications. Um, the wood look, it, it, it sort of took a, a while to, to get legs, so to speak, but has really taken off. And, and um, you know, five, six years ago, we probably didn't have but one or two wood looks. We've probably now got, I don't know, 50, 60 different ones mm. in here that we can show you. So, um, you know, we've, we've, we've uh, got one for almost every application. Good deal. Well, tell everybody how they can get in touch with Melser Tile. Uh, you can call us at our Dorchester Road location at 744-5345, or you can visit our website at melsertile.com. All right, terrific. Well, we have been talking with Jay Rotten with Melser Tile, and we're very proud to have Melser Tile as one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show. And thank you, Jay, for uh, hosting today's radio show as well. Okay, thank you, Tim, for being here. If you're just joining us, I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and today's radio show is coming to you from Melser Tile, one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show coming up January 24th through the 26th at the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium. And now we're talking with Trey Strock with Strock Design and Remodel. How are you doing, Trey? Good morning, Tim. How are you? Good. Um, Trey, tell everybody about Strock Design and Remodel. Well, uh, Strock Design and Remodel is just kind of like what the name says. We um, are a general contractor. We specialize in remodeling homes and businesses. Um, <clears throat> and we can help people with the uh, design phase as well as implementing the remodeling phase. Gotcha. And how do, um, can you describe a little bit how um, Strock helps people in the design phase? Sure. Um, w- generally, when people uh, come to us, they have an idea of what they want. Maybe they've seen something in a magazine or at a friend's house, um, maybe even the uh, um, on one of the TV shows. And uh, But the challenge may be in implementing for their particular home Mm -hmm. you know how are we going to make this fit or how is it going to work and we sit down with them and um, go through some options take some measurements put it in the computer come up with some 3d renderings that they can see and kind of pan around in and um, tweak it and come up with something they like and develop a budget and a scope of work and go from there gotcha so um homeowners very often they know they want something different they know they want a new kitchen or they they want a bigger space to put on an addition on their house but they don't know exactly how to put all those pieces of the puzzle together and so Strock Enterprise Stock Strock Design and Remodel you folks can um, help them with drawings and and uh, does does your computer program does that offer any kind of 3d image of of what the the space will look like and so forth you know Tim it's incredible how far it's come um, the technology nowadays you know I can uh, <clears throat> send somebody with an iPad the file they can link to it through email and uh, stand in their kitchen and the image will come up of what it's going to look like and they'll line it up on, say, a window, the mm. window over the sink. And as they turn around in their kitchen, 
uh, they'll get the new kitchen on their iPad of what it's going to look like finished. No kidding. Colors and doorknobs and styles and floor finishes, everything. That's spectacular. It is. Yeah, and, um, um, and and speaking of that, I wanted to ask you, like, what, what, what other types of uh, projects? Um, are kitchens and baths still real popular? Are you still getting a lot of customers asking to change their kitchens and baths? We every day, you know, um, there's a lot of homes that are that just need updating, and people, you know, uh, seem to be deciding to stay in their homes that they've been in for 20 years or so. And um, cabinets need updating; they need replacing. Um, but also, you know, people are wanting to make their house work for them in uh, a different stage in life. You know, so maybe a master suite. Um, opening up some rooms into um, one large suite that y where you don't use them like you used to, but mm -hmm. you would use them a little differently now. Um, so, again, it, it goes back to some of the design elements. Too. Right. Talk about, um, um, before we started the interview, you mentioned a, um, a, a master bedroom suite that uh, Strock Design and Remodel had um, had created for a homeowner in in uh, 2013. Just Des describe that project. Sure, um, homeowner been in the house uh, 20 plus years, and um, you know decided they want to stay there for however much longer, mm -hmm. and wanted to really enjoy it, um, but was limited with only one bed one bathroom downstairs, and it was kind of the hall common bath, and it had worked for them for this number of years but they said hey you know um, we want to do something a little different so there was a, a garage attached to the master bedroom that didn't didn't really use it that much anymore and we ended up converting the garage into part of the master bedroom um, and when it was done there was a nice walk-in closet very nice uh, spacious luxury bathroom and even a um, laundry full laundry um, uh, and opened up the back wall of the house to overlook the folly river and uh, just made it kind of like a luxurious hotel suite mm, wow yeah um you, you know i know that's a that's an overview but i'm sure there was a lot more that goes into it and and uh, strock uh design and remodel you folks specialize in in just remodeling no new construction new construction um is kind of limited for us on um, to like a garage um, or an outbuilding or something like that. We don't really market the, the new home gotcha. construction. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, so, you know, w it's always uh, common to hear people say, contractors say that, uh, well, you never know until you get into the, we start getting into the walls, what, what's, what's going to be behind there. Sure. And, and uh, what kinds of challenges did you have with, with that project on, on the Folly River with the uh, um, creating that, that master bedroom suite? Sure, that's a great question. And the one thing that pops right to mind is um, typically in a house um, like these folks had, the center wall is your load-bearing wall. Um, and, as, of course, as soon as we kind of got most everything demolished, we realized that the uh, contractor had made the um, uh, door wall of the closet the load-bearing wall, so all of the joists were too uh, short to give a clear span for the um, um, area over the bed. Mm. So we ended up, you know, having to bring a beam in and, uh, and that sort of thing. But it's just one of those things that you just don't know until you kind of get get the walls taken apart mm -hmm. do you, um uh, what happens when when you do run into those those things that are unexpected um how do you do you work with a fixed price with a homeowner or or, or do you how do you explain to them you know hey i didn't realize you had termites or something like that sure and it and unfortunately things like that happen uh, and we, we try to be very forthright with everyone um if we run into what we call a hidden condition um, something behind the wall that you really wouldn't know about until you get things open. Uh, we we stop work immediately and and kind of get them involved and say, hey, come look at this. This is what we found. Um, <clears throat> and then we develop a a new scope of work to uh, deal with that issue. How do we fix the termite damage? How do we install this beam 
um, in this area. Mm -hmm. And, and this is how much it's going to cost, and this is how much time it's going to add to the contract. And that way it gives people the opportunity right then, if we have to make a deduction somewhere else to make the funds balance, they can make that decision then mm -hmm. gotcha. rather than at the end. Well, um, Trey, talk about um, – I, I understand that Strock Design and Remodel um, – you folks are kind of going beyond just uh, being the general contractor for homeowners. You're helping homeowners when it comes to, um, you know, there's many homeowners don't have uh, cash right at hand to, to pay for a project. They, they need to finance it. Um, talk about that a little bit. Sure. It's, it's something that we've always wanted to, to offer. Um, and we were approached by a bank um, that specializes in construction project loans. And they wanted us to be a vendor for them. <clears throat> and what we can now do is for folks, and it doesn't matter if they have the money or don't have the money. I mean, it, if they want to finance and save their cash, they can do that. But we for, for 24 months, same as cash on projects, up to $45,000. And we can offer zero interest loans on projects up to $45,000, um, up to um, 48 months. Mm -hmm. Do you have, does, um, with your experience with Strock uh, Design and Remodel, what is an average remodel for, for Strock? Uh, well, it's way over the, it, it's all over the board. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a kitchen could run from $30,000 to $75,000. Mm -hmm. um, a bathroom from, you know, 10000 to 45000 it, mm -hmm. It's just kind of all over the place. Gotcha. How about an addition? Additions, um, say if it was a master suite addition, you know, you're probably looking on the order of um, 70000 to a hundred, depending on the size and what's going to go into it. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And another service that Strock Design and Remodel offers, you folks, um, if, if a homeowner is looking to, to redo their, their, their kitchen, um, Strock, you folks I have a line of cabinetry that, uh, that you can – um, give us an option to homeowners. We do, and um, our our cabinets um, are <clears throat> made here in the United States. Uh, they're uh, all the materials are sourced here in the United States. They're actually made in South Dakota, which has been having about the um, seventy below wind chills <laughs> recently. But they're they're it's a great all wood product. Um, they're built to last. Um, they would be what I would consider um, uh, kind of like things used to be built, mm -hmm. you know, where people really cared about what was going into a home um, and that it was going to last as long as the house lasted. That's kind of what these are. Mm -hmm. um, the, the company is an employee-owned company, so they kind of have the philosophy of whatever goes out of our back doors is we don't want it to come back. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want warranty issues. We don't want you know, finish issues, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. So, gotcha. Yeah. And, um, and, and you folks have been offering a special um, with, with those cabinetries? Well, actually, the factory is offering a uh, special uh, through the first quarter of this year, 2014, and that special is $20 per cabinet box as a refund back to the client. Hmm. Well, every little bit helps. Sure. Well, tell everybody how they can get in touch with Strock Design and Remodel. It, we make it easy. Um, website, of course, strockenterprises.com. Um, call us at our office um, here in Charleston uh, or send us an email. All right, terrific. Well, we have been talking with Trey Strock. Oh, and I did want to mention um, very quickly, um, we're very proud to have uh, Strock Design and Remodel as the general contractor. You folks will be constructing the four... 10 by 10 rooms, four different 10 by 10 rooms. Strock will be uh, framing all of those those rooms down at uh, the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium. And then once uh, Strock is finished uh, framing, um, first class painting and restoration will come in and, and put up drywall and paint those. And it's all part of the uh, HGTV inspired white room challenge that uh, we have as one of the, the show features at the Charleston Home and Design Show, January 24th through the 26th. And, and Strock, and, uh, Strock Design and Remodel, you folks will have a booth at the, the show as well. We're really looking forward to it. It's, a, it's always a good time at the show. Good deal. Well, thanks so much, Trey. Thank you.
If you're just joining us, I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and today's radio show is coming to you from Melser Tile, located at 4965 Dorchester Road in North Charleston, and we're very proud to have Melser Tile as one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show, coming up January 24th through the 26th at the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium. And now we're talking with Fred Stone with Elegant Hardwood Floors. How you doing, Fred? Doing great, Tim. Good, good. Thanks for having me. Sure. Um, Fred, take a moment and tell everybody about Elegant Hardwood Floors. Um, we are a, uh, a company that specializes in uh, providing uh, wood floors and uh, insulation and sanding and finishing. Um, that's all we specialize in. We don't do uh, carpet or tile. Um, we are a true specialist, and uh, we have a very good process and, and, and do a great job. Gotcha. And um, uh, t- tell, tell our listeners about maybe some of the um, some projects that come to mind in, uh, in 2013 that Elegant Hardwood Floors was involved with. Great. Yeah. Uh, what, a, what a great year it was for us. Um, um, you know, we did several uh, projects for all over the place, you know, from, from, from Beaufort um, to the Charleston surrounding area, the islands, Kiowa, downtown, uh, new construction, renovation. Um, you know, a big commercial project we did was, uh, was the Daniel Island um, Bar and Grill, um, adding um, antique cart pine, um, insulation, sanding and finishing. Mm-hmm. To match uh, what we did um, when the, the original club was built um, six or seven years ago, um, so that was a big project for us. Um, what made the antique heart pine antique? Um, well, antique heart pine it was it's 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 a reclaimed material that's uh, re remilled from from beams, um, and so it is as compared with the new heart pine, mm-hmm. which is grown from uh, you know, forests that were there to try, try to mass mass produce uh, the lumber. And there's a whole different type of look and um, and color to the the new versus the older antique antique wood. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, what about what about some residential projects? Do do do, do you have homeowners that um, maybe had carpet in their house and they're looking to pull that out and put put uh, hardwood flooring down? Yeah, uh, we get a lot of requests for that, um, and we're uh, you know able to to come in the home and, and match. You know, we have an eye for wood flooring, and we can see what they have, the type of wood they have, the homeowners have, the uh, the character and the species, and uh, the stain and the finishes. And um, you know, ninety nine percent of the time, we can you know we can match that up. And when someone looks at the floor in the house they can't tell where the old and new mm. new woods you know starts and stops it's a seamless transition mm-hmm. what uh talk about some of the trends you're seeing at elegant hardwood floors the, the trends um there's definitely the antique uh heart pine is has been popular um it just got such a such a beauty to it and, and pine is, is is very popular and, and regional regional wood species um the also secondary trend is uh, grayish or whitewash type tones. Mm. Um, very popular at the beach, um, kind of very very open air type uh, type style. And always, uh, I think a third trend is um, a darker, especially with oak species, a, a darker uh, walnut type stain with. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, a lot of customers are doing the dark floors with the lighter, lighter walls, white, w- white walls, and uh, that always looks beautiful. Hmm. Are you, um, are homeowners asking for like random widths of of boards or random lengths uh, to to be put in? Uh, yeah, um, I think that that's been very popular. It, that um, you get out. People are asking uh, some some requests for some um, some some wood floors that are they're not standard. You know, we offer long lengths in most uh, most wood species. So Tim, typical length is is one to one to seven uh, feet, and um, we are getting some more requests for longer lengths in the ten to twelve foot range. Um, it kind of has a um, 
more of a uh, classier type feel to it, an mm-hmm. older, original, original type floor than the shorter links. Mm-hmm. Why um, um, there are other flooring companies in town? Why why should a homeowner um, call Elegant Hardwood Floors when they're either they're building a new house and looking to to buy a whole house of uh, wood floors or maybe looking to to um, uh, re-sand and refinish their existing hardwood floors. To, um, talk about that. Yeah, uh, Tim. It's it's just because I think it's because uh, we we specialize in it and have so much experience and, and um, you know, expertise and a great track record. You know, it's hardwood flooring is um, it, it, it's quite simple. There's a lot that can go locking that can go wrong in hardwood flooring. Um, such so as. we spent you know such as. Um, um, you know, f- from starting off the job and, and not uh, not uh, having a company who who knows how to acclimate the wood and and prepare a homeowner for uh, for the home and, and tell them what all is expected, and also the dust the dust that can happen during the construction phase, um, how the finish coats uh, uh, should dry and and how people have to stay off the floors. So setting the expectation for the job is is really important. You know, we're a company that has experience in that. Um, our, our, our employees are all trained. We don't have any subcontractors. So having our own employees and spending such time training them allows us to have a, have a process that, that works um, and will really deliver a, a great product, uh, end product for the, for the customer. Mm-hmm. And, we, you know, in, as opposed to um, um, our, we have a lot of competitors that um, um, specialize in wood floors but also will say they specialize in wood floors but also do carpet and tile and you know um, the big box stores the Lowe's and the carpet stores and you're just not going to get the same quality that you're going to get with a company who, who specializes just in hardwood flooring like elegant hardwood floors mm-hmm. gotcha what um, any new uh, any new company happenings at elegant hardwood floors um, Tim we um, we had a great year in to continue to service our customers, um, we've added new new vans. Um, we've we've hired some new employees and, and training them. Um, we also have uh, some customer service um, personnel that can really see the jobs through and and uh, make sure that every job um, is um, you know is going to be to the homeowner's satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And. Um What's 2014 going to look like for Elegant Hardwood Floors? I think it's going to be um, continuing to be a great year. Um, we are, you know, have great employees and um, great equipment. How many crews does Elegant Hardwood Floors have? Um, Tim, we have about four crews. Four different crews? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, interesting. And, um, you know, there, there's a real art to, to laying um, that hardwood floor down because uh, you, you want the – the boards to to look randomly put in there you know when you when they butt up against each other and you have that seam and everything and um you don't want uh you know it might be easier to just okay here's a small board here's a big board here's a small one but uh that starts to look a little it starts to be a pattern that that shows and that's not a not a good thing when it when it comes to to hardwood floors that's right we're trained by the National Wood Flooring Association. We're members of the National Wood Flooring Association, and there's certain certain methods of how you install a hardwood floor and how you space out the wood. Um, and, yeah, that's something we're trained in, and it's really going to um, – what that does is it just um, – it makes the, makes the floor look natural to the home and kind of flows through the house and really makes a great ending product. If anybody has any kind of damage to their floors or anything like that, is that something that elegant hardwood floors can help with? It is. It is. You know, we, we have expertise to, to identify, you know, you know, what the wood species is and and give the the customer options to fix it. Um, you know, repairs, uh, water damage, something more, you know, other things that we we specialize in, um, and kind of can can prepare the customer for for what all it takes and uh, you know inform them on what the disruption will be and um, how to make the the process go as smooth as possible. Gotcha. Well, tell everybody how they can get in touch with Elegant Hardwood Floors. Um, we have an office and showroom. Our showroom is, is by appointment only at 1783 Harmon Street, uh, which is off the North Meeting Street extension. Um, our office number is 
8172 and and website is elegant-hf.com elegant as in elegant hardwood floors yes elegant-hf.com all right terrific well we've been talking with fred stone with elegant hardwood floors thanks so much fred I appreciate it, Tim. If you're just if you're just joining us, I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and today's radio show is coming to you from Melser Tile, and we're very proud to have Melser Tile on board as one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show, uh, coming up January 24th through the 26th at the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium, and now we're talking with Anita King with Ink Architecture. How are you doing, Anita? Great. Thanks for having me. Sure, sure. Anita, tell everybody about Ink architecture um we are a full service custom uh architecture firm that does architecture and interior design usually from the ground up for clients that want a custom designed home Mm -hmm. um we do primarily high-end residential luxury homes vacation homes things of that nature gotcha gotcha so you're um you're an architect by trade i am and um, uh, you, um, your company also, Ink Architecture, also offers interior design services? That's correct. We do. Um, and we do everything from the de- conceptual design on the site all the way through furnishing your house, if you'd like us to. Um, but that, I think that helps us get involved in all aspects so that you have a fully collaborative design and that the finished product really does show kind of um, one train of thought that's kind of cohesive and expresses your style and design the Mm -hmm. best we can. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, um, (coughs) talk about why someone should um, consider hiring an architect. You know, everybody's looking to kind of... um, save money and and they might see some house plans online and and uh they might say well i could I, that's a i'm going to cut that corner i'm going to um not hire an architect but um wh- why should someone hire an architect well we've run into this quite a bit recently and people find house plans on online there's a few things you're not considering first is your site usually if you have spent good money on a good site um, we have a lot of deep water uh, clients So you want to take advantage of those views. You have beautiful views. And picking something online is really um, not taking advantage of your views, um, your site, your uh, neighbors, how you're going to see them. You don't want to necessarily have your master bathroom looking right into your neighbors, Mm -hmm. those kind of things. And also, I think clients uh, don't see projects architects do. So a lot of people look at floor plans and they think through it as a floor plan, but really you're never going to be in your house with your roof chopped off looking at it from an airplane. That's just not how you live. Mm -hmm. So we like to think about how you're actually going to use the space, um, where you want your kids, do you want to hear them if there are teenagers and they have friends over all the time, where are you going to put them, where, how do you come into your house, you know, are you parking under the house, do you want to come up into a mudroom, those things, and kind of work through actually your daily life which I think most people, when they're looking at house plans, they're not thinking of it that way. You know, their trade might be doctors or lawyers or whatever they are, and they're really good at that, but they're not thinking through the architecture the same way an architect would. And I think it's really helpful to have someone who has dealt with lots of clients and walked through how most people live and how you live, because, you know, everyone lives a little bit differently, but there are some things that are kind of indicative to all couples and families. Mm Mm-hmm. And um, I think probably one of the biggest reasons to hire an architect is is to avoid uh, avoid problems. Yes, I definitely think it helps through construction. You're going to basically pay those fees one way or another. You're going to either pay the architect to do it up front or you're going to pay for it in construction when they have to redo things. Mm -hmm. And time from the contractor, even if he's just sitting on the site for a week trying to figure out things and talk to you through selections and things like that, you're paying his time. So eventually uh, that money catches up with you. You may not see it as readily because it's little bits and pieces, um, but you're going to pay for it. So I think getting all of those decisions made up front and kind of thinking through everything you want so that the contractor can just take it and roll with it and that everything works out nicely and perfectly during construction is is best. Right. Well, do you ever have uh, an instance where um, a homeowner has something in their mind about uh, what they want to do and, and um, you might have to tell them that that's not 
the best the best way to go. Yeah, and we kind of talk through different options and try to show them examples because I do think it's hard for people to visualize, again, certain aspects of um, things that they may have seen and how they're actually going to live. You know, one thing we have a lot of is people go on vacation and they see something in Spain that they really love. Well, it's great on vacation and those things might be really fun during those times, but are you really going to utilize those certain things? And if you are, let's tailor it to your actual day-to-day living and and things of that nature. So um, just kind of making sure they're really thinking through all of the aspects of it. And a, a lot of times, sometimes it comes down to cost too. You have to, you know, sometimes there's a wants and a needs category. You have mm-hmm. to really talk through, is that a want or is that a need? Um, because, you know, maybe the, you know, man cave isn't on the top <laughs> of the list <laughs> right, right. or something of that nature because, you know, a lot of people have budgets as well that we need to contend with and, and make sure they stay on track and, mm-hmm. and don't get too out of hand on some of those those other things right well i i the what what we used an architect when we built our house and um there were several other houses in our neighborhood where they did not use an architect and i've i've um always said that i think that that those houses were designed by a real estate agent and those other houses the real estate agent said okay we need to have four bedrooms and a, a formal dining room and three baths and and uh, we needed all to fit under 2,500 square feet. And somebody, a draftsman or, or somebody, um, said, yes, sir. They, they didn't tell them the other side or the pitfalls that they might experience. And so you know that feeling when you walk into a room that's too small? Right. You, and you just <laughs> feel it. You don't necessarily, it doesn't always come to mind, but you just, this feels cramped or this feels uh-huh. uncomfortable. The space is not... You never feel that way when you walk into an architect-designed home. Right. And I think that's uh, another thing that we do um, that I've noticed when I see plans online, things of those nature, is we put furniture in all of your plans. We want you to see, okay, and especially if you already have furniture, let's take those dimensions and put them in there. But let's actually put... uh, a king size bed in the master bedroom. Is there enough room to get around and have a dresser and and those things and a dining room table? Do you normally have 10 people over when you have a big party? Something of that nature. Even if the furniture isn't set in stone yet, let's make sure we have enough room that everything feels comfortable and you see that beds aren't in front of windows and, and things of that nature if you have certain likes or dislikes that we can kind of take care of those in advance and really see how you would use and utilize the space um, that, and it gives it scale. I think it helps clients understand the space better too. When it's just a room that has dimensions on it, it's really hard for some Mm -hmm. people to visualize how big that really is. Do you offer any kind of um, uh, 3D computer program? We do, and we've gotten into that quite a bit this past year. And I think it's helpful. Um, One thing, though, that we're still trying to tackle with is it's kind of like when we used to build models a long time ago, (laughs) but it can become a little bit of a toy during, you know, Mm -hmm. discussions with clients because it's so neat to see the 3D drawings now that sometimes you can get a little sidetracked and not really pay attention. So we've been kind of tackling through how we display some of that stuff and kind of talk through it. So we still do a lot of 2D sketches at first to make sure we're all on the same page and then develop it into a 3D model so that you can see the whole thing. But then we've already kind of gotten past some of the decision points that we know um, are critical that I think you can get sidetracked sometimes with those 3D models. Mm-hmm. But they really they really do help bring it all together and understand all the roof lines and things of that nature that I think most people can't see two-dimensionally. So mm-hmm. it has worked out great. It, I think I think people, um, there's a tendency for people to, they, they when it comes to like researching a new car, they spend so much time doing that and they, you know, getting the best price and everything like that. But when it comes to the biggest investment of their, their life, their, their house, um, <clears throat> they rush through some of that. They want to just snap their fingers and pretend like they're on HGTV and okay, that's all finished in 30 minutes. And, um, you know, hiring an architect is, is almost like an insurance policy mm-hmm. because 
you're just that's such a big investment um i i know somebody who built a house didn't use an architect forgot to put in a pantry can you imagine <laughs> not putting in a pantry in a uh -huh. custom built house right you wouldn't uh, ink architecture <laughs> wouldn't let that one <laughs> go by with no. you um yeah it's really interesting i think it is a process i think a lot of people don't understand the time involved uh, with building a custom home, but just the construction side of things, you're probably talking a year under construction for a lot of our houses. Mm -hmm. So uh, people try to get in there as quickly as possible. And I think, you know, um, you have to understand that it is a process that you're ultimately going to end up with everything you want, but you need to kind of make sure you think through those decisions up front instead of kind of afterthoughts like that. Mm -hmm. so. Worst thing that can ha you can do when, if you, when you're building a house or remodeling a house is to have regrets at the end right. of the process. You, you, at the beginning, you just assume everything is going to be perfect when it's all done. But that doesn't, you're not guaranteed, even though you, you, just because you're going to spend all that money does not guarantee a successful outcome. Right. And that's where an architect comes in. Right. We try to make sure you think through all of the decisions and talk through everything. Um, one thing we like to do is go through all of, at the very least, the interior architecture, which I would consider like your kitchen design, how the cabinetry lays out. Um you know, things of that nature, going ahead and picking tile from Meltzer Tile and all of those great places so that we know um, patterns and, and how it all melds together before construction starts because even some of those smaller decisions, tile patterns, for example, can um, change the way you think of a room or how you want to space where the shower is in location to the sink and thing if you want to uh, say, you know, a uh, like nice little medallion in the center so we try to think through all of those decisions ahead of time so that you're not moving things mm -hmm. after construction starts sure well tell everybody how they can get in touch with ink architecture well you can call us at uh, 843-882-7810 um, or you can reach me at anita at ink ink architecture llc.com all right terrific well we've been talking with anita king with I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and if you're just joining us, uh, today's radio show is coming to you from Melser Tile, uh, and Melser Tile is one of the sponsors of the Charleston Home and Design Show coming up January 24th through the 26th at the Citadel's Johnson Haygood Stadium, and now we're talking with Alan Wheeler with Coastal Design Builders. How are you doing, Alan? Good, Tim. Good. Alan, uh, tell everybody about Coastal Design Builders. Uh, Coastal Design Builders is a design build firm, um, which means uh, when possible, all the elements, uh, it's a turnkey where from planning, design, actual building and completion can be done uh, by my company. Uh, have been doing uh, custom homes uh, and remodeling for 26 years. Um, so there's quite a diversity in terms of the remodeling. Um, it can be redoing a kitchen, uh, a bathroom, um, an addition like a sunroom, um, an addition like um, a kitchen extension. Um, right now I'm about to start a kind of a mother-in-law suite addition mm -hmm. on the back. So um, just about anything that a homeowner could need, uh, we can do. Gotcha. Um, Tell everybody about that mother-in-law suite. Is that an addition that you're putting on a house? It is an addition, and what's interesting is uh, the couple uh, built um, a house uh, that we're adding on to only two and a half years ago, and uh, you know, four bedroom, two and a half bath, um, some family, uh, husband and wife, and, and an in-law there right now. But then there's another family member who wanted to come from out of state and really needed um, her own space. So uh, designed where there's a, a kind of a, a living room and then a little uh, uh, breakfast area, a kitchen, um, a master bedroom, uh, a master bath, a little laundry room, and a walk-in closet. Hmm. So it's a... Um, it's about uh, 900 and some square feet. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. And, uh, and it's separate from the main house, so the, uh, the, the kids get to have their own space, and then the mother-in-law has her own space. Um, yes. It, uh, sometimes uh, I've done detached garage and formal uh, detached, um, 
living quarters, but uh, it, it is attached to the back, but it has its own entrance. Mm -hmm. So um, it would be private that way. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Um, what other kinds of um, projects uh, come to mind that you work, that uh, coastal design builders worked on in uh, 2013? Um, well, I was uh, I, I had worked and completed um, a house uh, up in the Monk's Corner, um, right on the uh, Cooper uh, River, and finished that um, in the spring. And then I did. Uh, How big a house was that? It was about 2,500 square feet, mm -hmm. and um, it was on a, a slope, so had to uh, do a, a pretty steep crawl space, mm. and a two-car garage. Um, Nice big um, deck on the back uh, on looking over uh, the river. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, really steep roof, mm -hmm. uh, very defining lines. And uh, then I did uh, a, a two bath uh, where first they were thinking about just one. And then they said, well, Alan, how much more would it cost to do a second one? And because we, we did both together at the same time, it saved a little money because, you know, we could bring in each trade to do both rather than, you know, just one. So um, uh, that really worked out well for them. Mm. Um, and then I uh, was in a there was a kitchen where they didn't have an island. And uh, so I added an island and refinished the cabinet doors. I haven't done that in a long time. And we, we left the original um, kitchen cabinets in place and were able to refinish them. And they look brand new. Really cool. Interesting. Um, can you th did anything come to mind about um, how you have been able to save homeowners money? You just mentioned um, uh, being able to double up on, on the subs. Um, but... Uh, uh, anything else come to mind? Well, um, yeah, I'm just I'm thinking that I have recently met a couple, and uh, first it was um, kind of just a front porch area, and then they said, "Well, can you take a look at the living room?" And then uh, I went back um, a third time to look at the kitchen, and I had priced the segments separately, and so again um, I presented a presentation that if if I was going to do all three of them. Here's where we could save some money. And for instance, if there are, if you can uh, combine a couple of projects, uh, we need a dumpster. And if it's, they're all pretty good size. Mm -hmm. And if it's a small job, the cost for that's the same. But I could do maybe two or three other uh, projects in the house for the same dumpster. So there's some saving of money there. So I think that. Um, if a uh, family uh, has several jobs in mind, I'm happy to do it in stages, uh, but there would be a saving uh, by doing two or three elements at once. And then there's the other, which is, for instance, in designing a house. Uh, I can design a house um, where there'd be cost savings in the kind of moldings people use. Um, if it's a metal roof they want, it's a lot more expensive than an asphalt shingle roof. Uh, vinyl siding could uh, meet a, a budget um, compared to um, either brick, stone, or hardy siding. So the the lines of a house and the materials they use, uh, I can juggle all those to uh, meet a budget for them. Value engineering. Value That's engineering, right. yeah. Well, tell everybody how they can get in touch with Coastal Design Builders. Well, uh, my phone number is 843-300-9383. Um, I have a website, viewers, uh, listeners can uh, check in, uh, which is www.coastaldesignbuilders.com, and I've got a portfolio and information there, um, so they could reach me that way. And watch you on ABC News 4, right, Low Country Live? Yes, yes, Tuesdays at uh, 10 on Low Country Live. Um, um, I uh, answer questions there. Very good. All right. Well, we've been talking with Alan Wheeler with Coastal Design Builders. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Tim. Talking about a home. Talking about me and you. The things we'll do or say to home. You've been listening to Talking About a Home, a home show on the radio. Talking About a Home is brought to you by the publishers of Charleston Home and Design Magazine and the organizers of the Charleston Home and Design Show and the Custom Home and Remodel Show. 
To make contact with any of the companies featured today, visit NewHomeCharleston.com, Charleston's online home show, and home to over 200 local home-related companies motivated to work with you.